And I forgot, so I didn't bring any clothes, but, you know. You could probably, like, I'm sure there's places open that you can go find something really super taxing. To yeah, I, I may could figure something out. I don't mind wearing the same jeans two days in a row. Go just to our Texas Card House gift shop. Oh, hell yeah. Right, right just, just give me a TCH. On TCH shirts. Sure, so I may stay tomorrow and play the Hold'em tournament. Um... Dude, I've I mentioned I've been running bad the last couple of weeks. Just play some hold, play some tournament poker. Dude, just guess what? I I was running really bad since I saw you last playing yeah, your, yeah, playing yeah. your game high low. Bro, I I would have like the I would flop like the nut flush with um. Well, you're in a hand here, so let's why don't we take it? It's pretty standard oh. here. You're out of the big blind. Oh yeah, and, uh, um, this is um raised again like it is every hand by MJ, and you know I purposely was staying short stack to find a little spot like this and um, find a pretty good one ace queen 10 7 with a suit um, but once again i'm unable to get uh ben to fold his hand he comes in behind and i, I don't think i ever saw mj's cards sorry i don't mean yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't mean yeah, to give away this hand here this game, this is, uh, <laughs> so it looks like he is going in for the re-raise to pop it up and get it back now. this is pretty yeah and this is pretty crazy ben just says f it and puts all his chips in the middle too and you got ace jack nine five double suited. How can you knock it in? That's yeah. Well, he's running pretty good. In my experience, just calling off all of your chips isn't working that well. But here's the thing: I've been telling you I'm running bad, but sometimes players are running good, and when you feel it, you know you open up more. Just like I'm, I'm running bad, so I tightened up more. Ben is obviously running good, so he's just like, whatever. I'll yeah, play yeah, any yeah. four cards. Ace jack. Yeah, and it's working. And dude, I love this guy, MJ. Uh, Mike. Yeah, he has been. Uh, I mean, he's made some mistakes, obviously, which happens when you play like every hand. But I mean, overwhelmingly, like he he's just been able to out aggro some of the other players on, on the table. Is it shows the king and the six. Yeah, he's uh yeah betting in the dark and stuff like that. So, so you have a flush ben there for Ben. Had turned. Jack high spades, so Ben is sitting with about 2,500. There's it got to be a lot of money on this table pretty quick. MJ's raising it no, up. That's probably he's, like 75. Yeah, my, my boy MJ, he, he's got the button, and it was a dark bet. He's not the kind of guy to just let a dark bet run his button over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, so he raises it up, and he gets called by Mickey. $84. That's a weird raise. Oh, oh. It'd be who's of the dealer. It'd be who of the dealer. Is it who's? It'd be who's of you or who of you? What is it? What's it? It'd be, that'd be who's of you? Behoove? Behoove. Oh, behoove. That'd be oh, who. Okay, I yeah. was like, it'd be who of the asking what that guy's name was. No, like, it'd be who of the dealer to, to make it behoove, yeah. 85 instead of 84. Yeah. A little bit easier to deal with. Round it up to 85. But he may be a mathematician. I'm not. I can barely do, you know. Yeah, you can, you can just you can do function. Five now. times five. All right, well, that is Hello. top two for the Bluff Daddy plus a, a flush draw. We've got. Oh, no. I mean, Mickey has a straight. straight for ben Mickey has a straight. Or, or no, Ben. Middle and jack seven. Ben has a straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Right? Yeah, he has a jack high straight. Who bet that? Mickey? Uh, it's MJ. We'll go figure. Just uh, what? They both a straight check draw, technically, to a queen or with the jack eight around the ten. Mickey nine. has two pair in the diamond draw. Oh, yeah. It's he's. Like they're all three going to get in this one. And, and it's funny. The best hand is uh, Ben, but it is going to be kind of a tough spot for him because he really can't improve on his hand. And if one of them has a bigger straight... He's drawn dead from the flop. So he folds it. And look at there. Mickey, it pairs the wrong one. Ooh, three of a kind. Three of a kind for MJ. He's all in. Or he bets 500. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. you, you know you hate it when that happens. You got top two pair and the diamond draw and a gutter ball, and the board pairs the bottom pair. Yeah, it's just <laughs> sort of like all of a sudden your hand's counterfeit. Ooh, or... but he nuts up and makes the call. Wow. He's like, this dude's been all over the place. Like, I got to get in and in. Oh, there you go, Mickey. Snap. Up left, Daddy. Fills up on the end. Tens full of nines. So he's going to give the opportunity for MJ to bet at it. Or no, he's just going to go, go barreling on in. He's going to call here with trip eights. 
Wow, nice yeah, hand. Yeah, MJ only has trip eights. He does get place 10. That's up there on the board. He winds up paying off the bluff. Daddy Mickey, no gamble, no future. Very good hand, my friend. A yeah, couple yeah, of rundown good. hands. Queen Jack 10 9, 7, 6, 4, 3. Queen Jack 10 9 doesn't have any suits. Um, I'm just going to fold that. There's some aces for Derek. He's got ace, ace, deuce, three. Ooh. That's actually not a terrible ace hand. Yeah, He's got is, diamonds uh, and some straight draws. At the top of the line, PLO 8 hand. Fortunately, what? though, this is the, the high hand. The high variety. Yeah, left Daddy's got a decent hand. I'm surprised MJ didn't race. Didn't uh, three bet there. Gonna it's queen to five four three. Build a pot from position. Yeah. Let's see if Scott's got anything finally. No, I don't know what he had, but he had, had the fold. Carl's got three Broadway cards. He's gonna be in there. And Ben's got a yeah. Oh he. Right, oh, Bluff go. Daddy. Bluff Daddy raised. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Bluff Daddy raised on the button. Okay. Yeah, like Derek I don't know that I raised over the Now, so here comes the back that. raise. Yeah, that's a great time to back raise. There's a lot of money in there. You got to put it out there. You got to go. Yeah, I love that play. That's great. He really is getting great value here. He's going to get a lot of people Hello, to, to fold out. Jay, All right, is MJ going to call? That's the million-dollar uh, question. Wouldn't shock me because is MJ, I think he's going to call. I think he wants big pots. I think that's what he wants to if, have. If he really not like, if he's putting Derek on the hand that he has right yeah. now, like he's just going to be like, oh, he's got aces. So yeah. that's, then you know where you're it at. It just feels like I can flop anything to. Oh, yeah. If, was there any question that he was going to call? I think it's going to be heads up, possibly. Maybe the pot is huge. When you have Race a huge Carl. pot like that and you have MJ in there, you have to be thinking to yourself, this sucker's going to cost me a lot of money unless I just flop the world. I'd call here with Queen Jack 10 9, but I don't think Ben will. He's pretty tight. No, he's been. He he's gave up the last yeah. four cross. But here, this, this, this is not a bad spot. Derek's only got about uh, 464 back, yeah. so it's a yeah. possibility that if he flops pick, he's just having to worry yeah. about. I'd take his Derek hand. Only and not necessarily Pre-flop, I'll take Queen Jack 10 9 pre-flop over Aces and obviously over the Queen 5 3 4, but I like his hand better than the other two. Aces are just so tough because. Yeah, I mean, the you have Carl to folds a lot of cards that help him. Yep. So it's he might get a good, decent run out. I think we're going to see a mid range flop 10 9 7, you know, 10 8 7, 10 8 6, something like that, something that mid range. Jack uh, six, that's about three. a decent a flop as MJ is going to get for his yeah, specific Yeah, open-ended straight draw. He's ahead in the hand. But, you know, top pair, decent kicker for Ben D. But he's not going to like that. He's not going to play big stacks for with that hand. Aces are still ahead. Um, so going to jam. And now with the yeah. less than 500 there's no, the chance. Spot, like, There's no the, chance. There's no chance he folds here. No, never. He might go over the Three top. Three of Queen are live as well. He may go over the top to uh, knock Ben D out of the hand. Yeah, he's going to shove here. He did. His... Yeah, I, I actually like that play. He gets Ben D out and gets him heads up with Derek because everyone knows Derek has aces. So MJ looks at his hand and says, I've got a pair. I've got open and straight draw. So if he just has aces, I am drawing really, really well here. There's a lot of cards that can come for MJ. In fact, he's ahead in the hand, equity wise. So we'll Queen see if he can out, hold up. Deuce is out. Uh, turns a heart draw. He got and gets there. there and he gets got a there. Six perfect. Yeah. With the old Queen five four three, Derek yeah. devastated. <laughs> it was a, a good situation for oh, man. four aces. If and MJ with a junky hand, but hey, flops the open ender. It is a flop game, and if I'm Derek, I'm cursing myself, saying, "Why the hell do I play this game?" All right, here we go. Last chance for action as MJ, I think, calls dark. Looks like yeah, he's called dark. So Bluff Daddy fools Fireman Scott's got Queen Jack six. He maybe he plays this just for the just for kicks here. Maybe, maybe, but. I, just kind of like, all right, what the hell? I can't play this hand. Chance hands full. Carl. Ooh, Carl with aces. Double suited seven, aces. Seven. Double suit aces and sevens. There you go. MJ's got an ace and he's got a seven, so. 
Michael has Ooh, got a lot of collars. Yeah, you can tell this is the last hand of the night on the stream because you get some collars with some really, really bad hands. Jack 644. Wow. But these aces and sevens have, man, they have a lot of equity. I see a four right there in the window, so there you go. Four bottom <laughs> set here for Ben D. Of course, the Jack 644 uh, flops a set and gets out there ahead. That does look like a pretty Alvin's safe Alvin's got a straight draw, though, like a, a wrapped yeah. queen or seven. Oh, he does have a wrap. Yeah. yeah. So Carl's going to bet his over pair. Or no, no, excuse me. MJ's just going to bet because why Why the hell not? Carl's going to call with the aces. Wait, Albert doesn't Ben D rap. called with the bottom set. Now Albert here. Yeah. Yeah, Albert okay, just okay, has okay. an open I straight see. draw. He doesn't have a, a wrap. Albert bombs it. Love so, it. There you go. Get Albert in there, Albert. He says, all right, let's do this. I've got open and straight draw. What will Carl do here? It's a pretty safe flop for it He's got backdoor hearts. I mean, it's not. Yeah. Obviously, I, with a 10-9, there's just so many, like, 8-7, Jack. Last queen, hand of the like night, I'm calling it. I don't care. I'm going to say, you know what? If you got me beat, if you got 10s and 9s, I'm still drawing it some hands. I'm going to call it. But he's but way I mean, Albert, Albert's shove is, is just yeah. kind of, it's just tough to be the player coming onto the pot. So he's going to get out. Then he's going to call the bottom set. He also does have back to hearts. His hearts are live. But probably fearing is up against a bigger set, though. I, he, he's in better shape than he thinks. So there you go, full house. And, oh, Albert runs 9-9, nine, nine, Jack. Holy cow. He backdoored runner, runner. That's crazy. Oh, that's 9-Jack, runner, runner. Never funner there for Albert. It started with the strip draw. And that, that's the, the per perils of playing low bottom pair, or low pocket yeah. pairs. PLO, it's just like there's just so many times you can get counterfeited by a bigger full house, but. Not like that very often, though. That was not, runner, not runner. quite like that Oof. often, but that was brutal. Good thing it wasn't for more. Yeah. Albert Albert's had, had a really good week here on TCH yeah. Live. It probably goes up on the session here on this cash game. We won the hundred fifty dollar Mega Stack freeze out last week. Are you going to be the one to win it this week? Join us tomorrow. Come here at two o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time to play in the tournament. Five K guarantee prize pool. So there is our biggest winners and losers. MJ is down. Farmer's got a small loser here for the session. That and was the last hand, right? And that's all, right. all she wrote, folks. Thank you so much for joining us for Spicy Saturday TCH Live PLO.